He's got Nashville in his blood, but Charleston in his heart. On this week's Spotlight Music Series, we'd like to welcome singer-songwriter Jesse Schaefer. Thank you for joining us. You've got a new album coming out today. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for having me, Layla. Yeah, so you released one just last summer, and it sounds like this is an ongoing list of projects that you do. Can you talk a little bit about just your workflow as it relates to your music? Sure. Well, I like to I like to take most projects slow, let it build over time, but at the same time have multiple projects going with uh, different musicians and different styles. So as one is preparing to come out, I have another sort of on the back burner in a few months. Uh, so in a few months, I would be able to release that. That's great. It's difficult for some music musicians to be putting out albums with such consistency. How do you do it? Well, I don't do it by myself. I have to say in the first place, um, it definitely takes many people to get a full album together. Um, yeah. I have many musical collaborators and some producers that I've worked with that I'm super thankful for. Um, as well as the record label that my album tomorrow will be released on called Sunnyside Records. They've helped tremendously with this process. Definitely want to talk about the collaborations, and we'll get to this latest album in a second. But okay. when I say that you've got Nashville in your blood, that's where you were born. So did Nashville have an influence on you as a musician? Absolutely. Um, you know, just growing up, listening to singer-songwriters and folk music, great country music everywhere in restaurants, just walking down the street, hearing buskers. It's almost impossible to not be influenced by it. And, and those, the buskers are the ones that are on the street playing music. Yes. 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 Uh, so when you moved to Charleston, something else took hold of you musically. What was that? Um, that's true. So when I moved to Charleston and began making friends, I noticed that they were all just playing jazz gigs. Everybody around town was um, playing jazz. So I just began pursuing that. And um, I realized pretty quickly that I love it and more so maybe than other styles of like, traditional American music and sort of gone with it from there. Would you say that your music is somewhat of an amalgamation of country folk and jazz, or is it just straight jazz? All in all, I would say yes, it's a, it's a combination and product of many things, but at the same time with, with certain projects, I like to keep it grounded in um, certain styles specifically, and then maybe inflect a little bit of my own personal identity into it. Yeah, let's talk about the latest album. So what can people expect when they listen to this music? Sure. Um, so these songs are all instrumental jazz tunes. I wrote all of the tunes but one of them. Um, the group is a guitar, bass, piano, and drum quartet. Some of the songs are kind of lengthy compared to what most people may be used to. Yeah. But um, it definitely has a traditional feel like most jazz albums uh, from the past, yet it has a, a modern kind of approach to it. Um, we recorded it in a large wooden room together, a big studio, which surprisingly is pretty uncommon these days. And who are your influences? Um, from a young age, I would say some of my my largest influences on my guitar playing anyways would be Chet Atkins and Les Paul, kind of country, jazz, uh, sort of riding the line between those. But mm -hmm. these days, um, I'd say my biggest influence is a guitarist named Bill Frizzell. Very good. And any upcoming gigs that people can come and see perform live? Sure. We are... Um, we are playing a show tonight at Forte Jazz Lounge from 7 uh, to 11 p.m. We're going to be playing all of the suit, or all of the tunes from the new album. Great. Excuse That's me. wonderful. And people can Thank just you. check out your Facebook page and, and find out any future dates as well. Thank you so much, Jesse, for sharing with us. I, I look forward to hearing your music coming up after the break. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> 